Okay, on our layout here, we did a change in plans here. And uh, what we did, we it was starting to be a flat table, just like that there. And then we had some friends over from the, uh, the train club. And they suggested maybe we could do what they call a cookie cutter. And so we started. I started doing, we started doing a cookie cutter right in this area and we move it around so for we we braced it every eighth of an inch and so well, it takes quite a bit to get this thing up and raise it up and right now we're moving it around as you see we cut underneath the table and we keep rising and we keep raising the table and right about here we're at three inch mark as you can see right there the three inch mark so from there on, we didn't have to do any cookie cutting, and we just went ahead and used the foam. So we got like a two-inch foam here, and then two one-inch foams here, so it brings it up to the three-inch. And now we're riding along here, and of course you don't see more red uh, road bed, but it's going to go right on across. And then we have to start coming tapering down because to get we need to get from here from three inches, which is right up here and come on down around all the way over to that area right there we have to be at a two inch level at a two inch level and then from there on we're going to raise the whole the whole bed the um, the road uh, the yard right there is going to be up on a two inch a two inch um, uh, foam board so our point is right now is cookie cutting 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 out the plywood and coming under the table as you will see here, you can see the different locations where we put our braces underneath here. And, and each one of those, of course, keeps rising, pushing up the table, as you can see it, slowly doing an incline. It almost takes 18 feet to get up to 3 inches. It's hard to believe, but, uh, and that's actually a, a 2 degree incline so sorry I'm not too good at this picture stuff but anyway that's where we stand and uh, you can see that we do since our last blogs we have some track down and, um, and it's coming along pretty good it's slow as, as everybody knows it works on on a mile railroad and it's not fast it takes a while and uh, but we're uh, Bob and I are coming along pretty darn good and uh, making some headway now uh, we put a car on it, as you can see here, and we're trying to gauge our, and it runs very smooth down the track. Hope it's the switch is okay there. Yep, it is. Anyway, everything seems to be working well. Uh, not bad, I don't think, for our very first try at doing something like this. So, And if anybody's got any hints along the way of what we're doing uh, that can make it better, we sure like to know. Alright, until next time.